Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you five of the easiest ways to eat healthier when shopping at Kroger. So I'm Kristen, I am sister number two from SixSisterStuff.com and I just wanna thank Kroger for sponsoring this video today. So I have shopped at Kroger my whole entire life. Even when I was little, my mom used to shop at Kroger. She would pass three grocery stores on her way to Kroger because she loved that specific store so much. Now that my sisters and I are older, we all shop at Kroger and I think we might love it just as much as my mom does. So I recently moved from Texas and there my store was called Kroger. But now that I've lived in my new place, I shop at Smith's. Now Kroger owns a lot of different stores, so check out any of these stores if any of these are by you. They are also owned by Kroger. So I think eating healthy is really important. I try and eat all three meals rather healthy and then I do enjoy a little snack every day. So here are some of the easiest ways you can eat healthier when shopping at Kroger. Number one, you're gonna shop the outside edges or the perimeter of the store. That's where your fruit and your fish and your healthy breads and your milk and just everything is on the outside perimeter that usually is better for you. Lots of the processed things are in the middle of the store that are in boxes that are, are man-made pretty much. But usually if you shop the outside, it's gonna be better. Number two, now Kroger just came out with a new app called the Opt Up app and it is awesome because it kind of ranks your food of how healthy it is for you and you can also compare other foods as you notice that bread's 50 and that bread is now 94. It also gives you an average of how healthy you're eating compared to week after week after week. So my target is 600. That last week I got 607 and if you can see I fluctuate up and down. Now I love it because you don't have to keep track of your numbers, it's more of colors. So you have three colors, green, yellow, and red. Now each color represents how healthy it is. So red is the least healthy and they want you to stick around 10% or less. Now the next color is yellow. They want you to aim for about 40% of your products to be yellow. Now yellow is not as bad for you but not the healthiest you can get. It's just right in the middle. And the last color is green. They want you to get 50% or more of the color green. I'm pretty good at hitting my green because I like to eat healthier. Now I'm a huge fan of shopping online. It's my most favorite thing. But the cool thing about this app is that you can just swipe it right over and it will automatically go into your shopping cart. So you can shop healthy from the start. Now number three, I'm gonna talk about the fish and meat counter. So when I shop at Kroger, I get a lot of complaints that fish is just too expensive. That's one of my favorite sections is the fish and meat counter. And so let me show you some of the things to make it less expensive when purchasing fish. So my first suggestion is to look around the meat and fish section. Lots of times they have these save a dollar or more on this package because they are pre-packaged. Next, shop the clearance fish. Shop what's on sale. Now I love the fish section at Kroger is because look at this. They can put it in a little bag for you. They put whatever seasonings you want. Then they come out and explain to you, okay, this is how much it weighs. They'll flip it over and this is how long you're going to cook it for. So if you've never done fish, this is the perfect way to do it. Number four. Now we all know this, but looking at labels is so important. Now this is a peach yogurt, which is actually pretty good for you. It's 140 calories. There's some protein in there. There's a lot of sugar, but if you go a Greek yogurt, look, it's you have 90 calories, 13 grams of protein, only seven sugars compared to 14. Just look at your labels and you'll be able to eat healthier. Number five, packaging your own organic items. Now, I didn't know this until a friend taught me. Um, I've slowly been starting to get into more organic grains. Now, if you have a bulk area where you can fill up your own bags at your Kroger, you should check this out because a lot of times the prices are a lot cheaper, especially when you're dealing with organic items. So you can save actually quite a bit of money if you fill up your bags of organic things yourself. 
All right, it's almost time to check out. Let me show you what I'm gonna grab for dinner. First, I'm gonna grab one pound of baby carrots. Now, if you go to the Opt Up app, you can see that they are 90 points. Next, I'm gonna grab some mushrooms and those are 90 also. So I'm doing great in my green section. Okay, so he's gonna swipe those over. There's my salmon. Salmon is 78, I'm still in the green section. All right, I'm gonna run home and I'm gonna show you how I cook these in the oven. Okay, the first thing is the salmon. So with these awesome prepackaged things, all you have to do is stab a fork into the plastic and you're gonna put it in the oven for however long it tells you to. Next, I'm gonna grab my carrots and my mushrooms and then pour them out onto a cookie sheet. Next, I'm gonna add my extra virgin olive oil. I don't really measure it out, I just kind of pour it on. Next, I add some garlic salt. You can add pepper too if you'd like. I just love garlic salt. Okay, now I'm just gonna mix around all of the olive oil and the salt so it hopefully is covering everything. Then spread it flat onto your pan so you can cook it in the oven so it will cook pretty evenly. All right, now it's time to cook everything. I like to cook my vegetables at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. Check your carrots, it depends on what texture you like them. Now the fish, I just followed the directions on the back of how long to cook them for. So when you're done, you're just going to cut the foil and the plastic right off of your salmon. Now it already smells so good, but when you peel that foil and plastic away, oh, I could just eat it right out of the package. Now I love when I order the salmon like this because it cooks perfectly inside that package. And not only that, the cleanup is so easy. You just put your salmon on a plate and shuck the rest. All right, my vegetables are done. I'm just mixing them one more time, making sure they're all coated in the olive oil and they are ready to serve. So I just serve that right next to my salmon and I have three green zones from the Opt Up app that I'm eating for dinner, which is awesome. Now, if you love this video, I would love for you to give me a big thumbs up or comment below one of your most favorite things to buy at Kroger. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you today. I'll see you next week. Bye.